Good morning. It is Friday. <laughs> it's exciting. I'm late again. Decided I need to go to bed earlier. That's my problem. <laughs> But the only thing is, I don't want to go to bed. Like, I've got so many ideas and stuff I'm doing and, like, stuff at the shop and, you know, trying to build my business and stuff. And I can't really get settled down. And I'm, I'm tired. My body's tired. But my mind is like, let's go, let's go, let's go. You know, so it's, it's hard to get settled down. <clears throat> but... My idea for today, or what's been on my mind for some reason this morning. Um, so since it's been on my mind, that's what I'm gonna gonna do. Um, I've been talking the past couple days, been touching a little bit on helping people, you know, being good to people and stuff like that. And my idea. What's been on my mind this morning is, is that where you're supposed to stay? There we go. One day I'm going to get my little mount for the windshield. Now that I have a new windshield, praise God, <laughs> I'm going to get me a little mount for the windshield and then it'll hopefully stay up there. tripod right now but anyway I was thinking how do we help people and if you are let me roll it up it's warm this morning um if you're a Christian and you know the Lord and you you're an active member of the church and stuff like that, and you invite people to church, you're going to know exactly what I'm talking about. I, I have trouble with it, and it bothers me, and I worry about it, because it's like sometimes, you know, you'll invite people to church and stuff, and they'll kind of like snuff their nose up at you, or they'll think that you're judging them, or whatever it may be, and some people, that might be what's on their mind, I don't know. I can only speak for myself. And I know a lot of people that I go to church with, that's not at all what they're doing. But I want to share what I've found. I want to share the joy and the peace and the love, you know, of the Lord and the fellowship, just in the community. And it's wonderful and I love it and I want to share it with everybody. I'm not judging anybody at all. It's like I'm seeing parts of my past and parts of myself of, you know, where I've been, where I've needed help, or like you see people that are suffering or that are, you know, miserable or whatever it may be, and you don't want them to be. You want to help them. And that's my whole thing. When I invite people to churches, I'm like, you know, I'm really enjoying this. I want to share it with you. And I worry about people thinking that I'm judging them, and I'm not, because that's not my place whatsoever. So, with the way the world is, and the way man has got everybody into thinking, and, you know, well, church people, they just think that they're better than we are, and, you know, I can live better outside of church, and all this stuff. How do we help people, you know, being Christian and being active members of the church, how do we help people? And it's simple. We make it hard. We make it so hard, but it's simple. You show them love, for one. But the number one thing, what's so important, and I think that we really need to do and focus on, is doing what God leads us to do. You know, if God tells you to go to somebody and talk to them or whatever it is do that we got to go by what God gives us you know and if 
if you don't tell you to go, chances are it's not going to do a bit of good, you know. But if God tells us to go, he'll be there. And it's scary because when God tells me to talk to somebody or do something, my human mind automatically is like, I don't know them, you know, or what are they going to say back, you know, and stuff like that. But God's already there. Like, he's not going to send you somewhere that he's not going to meet you there. You know, and he's working on that end. And the person he's trying to send you to may need, well, I'm sure will need exactly what he's telling you to say or he wouldn't be sending you. But we do, once we do that, like, that's number one. I think so important for us to focus on is, you know, God, what can I do? And I'll the Lord when he sends us. But we have to do it out of love. And I know when we love people, how we can worry about them and get upset and our emotions get in the way and you end up worrying and trying to help and you end up making a mess and getting in a conflict. And because I can remember several years ago, I had a friend that I was really worried about and I was trying to help. I was trying to help and I was just going off of me, you know, and what was in my mind. But that did no good. I was going off of my emotions and what I thought was right and trying to help. And I wasn't doing it out of love. I was doing it out of fear for them, you know, and stuff like that. And that doesn't do any good. And you end up getting upset. You end up upsetting them. You end up in a conflict and you can even, like, lose people and lose relationships by doing that. We have to do it out of love. And if you think about it, if you're in a bad place and you're needing help, it's kind of like the whole thing, catching more flies with sugar than vinegar. You know, they need love. They need somebody to be kind to them. And just like people that are suffering with addiction, you know, they don't need you to like look down your nose at them because you've made mistakes. You've done wrong. You're not perfect. Just like me, I'm not perfect. I've made mistakes. I was just thinking this morning when I was thinking about this video, and I was like, man, if they'd have seen me like three years ago, and then like 12 years ago or 10 years ago. I was a disaster. I was a complete mess. We've all made mistakes and we all need a little help. And God will send that help if we'll just accept it. But that's my thought for today. How do we help people? We have to do it out of love. Be good to them. Be kind. You know, have your heart in the right place. You know, not, well, I'm going to fix them. Because they don't need to be fixed. God loves them exactly the way that they are. But God wants to help them. God wants to renew them. And he can use us to help them. But we got to do it out of love. And if our heart ain't in the right place and we're not in the right place, God's not going to send us. And we don't need to be sending ourselves <laughs> and making a mess and making it worse. Do it out of love. Maybe you see somebody struggling and you can go to them and say, is there anything I can do to help you? You know, do you need anything? And do it out of love. Not judgment. Out of love. So I hope that is something that can be on your mind today and be a help to you. I got to get my day started. I got a lot to do and I'm excited. But, um... I love you guys. Please be praying for me. I'll be praying for you. And I hope you have a wonderful Friday, a wonderful weekend, and hopefully I will see you soon. See you guys.